Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new rankings video. So today I'm ranking the top 10 holes in Tanky Online. Now I already ranked the top 10 overdrives in Tanky Online, which is basically the determining factor whether or not a hole is going to be good or not. So this list is going to be more so my opinion and the enjoyability around using this hole. Now of course this is my own opinion. Let me know what your favorite hole is in the comments down below. Don't forget to use code TASPINS in the item shop and let's get straight into the list. So number 10 spot is going to go to Ares. Now a lot of you guys do know this, but I hate using heavy holes. I just I love to go fast and taking a line, and when I'm going slow with a null hole, it's already annoying, but even with a hovering hole, it, become, it becomes even more annoying because it takes longer to stop yourself, it takes longer to move left and right when you're already in motion, and the only redeeming factor about this hole is using the overdrive just because it's really broken in the right circumstance, but overall this hole isn't that fun to use, and it's only good because of its overdrive in my opinion, and that's why it's going to go to the number 10 spot. So the number 9 spot is going to go to Crusader. Now in general, I'm not a huge fan of heavy holes. And Crusader really doesn't have all that much personality to it. And you already have Paladin, you have Hopper, and you have Ares, which are kind of like the hovering hole of each different type of hole. And Crusader just doesn't really find its good mix in there. And overall, it's kind of a forgettable hole. I don't really use it all that often. It's not even max in my garage. And that's what's going to go in the number 9 spot. So the number 8 spot's going to go to Titan. Now Titan really does depend on what turret I'm using. Sometimes if I'm using Twins or I'm using Magnum or Shaft, it's more fun to use. But if I'm looking for a offensive type of mode and I'm using freeze or firebird or acida this hole is not fun to use at all now Titan's kind of a staple hole in the game and that's why it's gonna go in the number eight spot the number seven spots gonna go to dictator now back when golds used to mean a lot more using dictator to catch a gold was kind of like the scummiest thing you could do and dictators kind of unique compared to the other holes because it's about it's a lot taller than the other holes in the game it has this kind of unique look to it it's pretty fun to use although I'd rather use other medium holes if I'm deciding between multiple. Overall, it's kind of an average run-of-the-mill hole, and that's why it's going to go in the number seven spot. So number six spot's going to go to Hunter. Now, Hunter's a pretty fun hole to use. It goes really well with most of the other turrets in the game, besides maybe a Cita or a Freeze, depending on if you want to go fast. There's not a lot to say about it. It's a basic, overall, decent medium hole and that's why it's going to go in the number six spot. So number five spot is going to go to Paladin. Now I know this is a controversial pick because without the overdrive it's basically just a really annoying hole to use but I kind of do like the hovering aspect in this game. If you're using mouse controls, hovering holes are actually pretty fun to use in the right situation or circumstance. And Paladin is just kind of fun to use because it's not too fast, but it's also not too slow of a medium hole, so you're able to use it pretty well. The hovering aspect allows you to turn around pretty easily in fights, and it's overall kind of a decent hovering hole, and that's what's going to go to the number 5 spot. Now the number 4 spot is going to go to the Hornet hole. Now you can't forget Hornet Railgun, a staple combo in the game that everyone thinks of when they think of tanking online. Hornet's just a really OG hole and although I use Wasp, I'd say more than Hornet these days because Hornet Overdrive is kind of lackluster. It's still a really great hole overall if you're playing basically any combo in the game. Overall, I really do enjoy this hole and that's why it's going to get the number four spot. So number three spot is going to go to Hopper. Now, I really like how this hole looks and overall, it's probably the most fun hovering hole to use just because it's pretty fast compared to the other ones. This is the only light hovering hole in the game. It's really unique. I love the Overdrive. Not in gold modes, of course. But I do like using this hole. I use it a lot with Ricochet. It looks really well. It plays really well with Ricochet. Uh, you can kind of hide behind walls, back and forth, pivot instead of having to move around the walls. And overall, it's definitely the best hovering hole in my opinion. And that's what's going to get the number three spot. So number two spot's going to go to Wasp. Now I put Wasp above Hornet because I kind of like how it looks and how it moves a little bit more. It's not only smaller than Hornet, but I feel like it moves a little bit better than Hornet. I love using Wasp with almost any combo because of how fast you can be with this hole. Like I said earlier in the video, I love going fast. So light holes are my favorite holes in the game. Although I do like to take it slow. And that's where we get into this number one spot. So number one spot's going to go to Viking. Now the reason Vikings number one is because it works well with any turret in the game. If you want to play offensive, you can play offensive with freeze. My favorite combo in the game is Viking freeze. Viking also has a ton of skins for it. I think they've released probably the most skins for Viking in the game. Viking is probably the go-to hole that I have. It's probably the most fun medium hole in my opinion, and I really do love Viking. That's what's going to get the number one spot. I hope you guys enjoyed my list. Don't forget to tell me what your favorite hole or your most used hole is in the comments down below. Don't forget to use code TASPINS in the item shop. There's Black Friday coming up, so that'd be really helpful for me. And I'll see you guys in a future one. Peace out.